All right, algebra benchmark 5.1, uh, solving equations. When you see these negative signs here, I would suggest changing these to plus negative, plus negative there. And then our first step here is to get rid of the parentheses. So we're going to distribute this negative 3. So 5y plus negative 6, because negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, plus positive 3y, because negative 3 times negative 1y is positive 3y. So negative 16. Now here's the middle of my equation. So I say I have like terms here that I can combine together. So I have 8y on the left side. And then I can put the 6 on the other side, whether you want to add 6 to both sides or just flip and switch the negative 6. So 8y is negative 10. So I have 8. Now if it's a, on the, I don't know what the directions on the benchmark R, if it just says leave your answer as a decimal, then just divide it out and get your decimal here. Otherwise, just reduce this y equals negative 5 fourths. For number 2, let's distribute, distribute. So 3x squared, 9x. Here, again, to be safe, you might want to make that plus negative 1. So equals 3x squared plus 12x plus negative 1x, plus negative 4. And again, if you forget to change that to plus negative 1, you might forget that negative 4 right there. That's a common mistake. Uh, let's maybe look for stuff that's on both sides that are exactly the same, like this 3x squared, and get rid of those, because they're exactly the same on each side of the equal sign. And then combine the rest. So make that 11x. And then perhaps bring the 11 over here. So negative 2x equals negative 4. So you're going to be gone. Divide by the negative 2. And x is 2. And then for number 3. On number 3, you have two variables. And if I'm solving for one of the variables, there's no way I can get an answer, like a numerical answer, like a number like these. So your answer is going to have a letter in it, and that's fine. So solve for y. It's kind of like putting it in slope-intercept form for graphing lines. So I'm going to bring my 4 to the other side, my 4x. Okay, and this is really like a plus problem here. It's like plus negative 6y here. So I'm really adding 4x. So to undo it, I'm going to subtract 4x or, or add negative 4x to both sides. So get negative 6y equals 18 minus 4x plus negative 4x. And then divide each part by that negative 6. And then let's see what happens. I'll put it over here. So you get y equals, don't forget that, 18 over 6 is 3, and there's a negative there, so it's negative 3. These two negatives cancel each other out, so just be plus, and then 4 sixths, reduce that to 2 thirds. So either 2 thirds x or 2x over 3 is the same thing. Okay, hope that helps.